Welcome back, my ad riding friends. Good to see you. I promised you a test ride on uh, the KTM 390 Adventure, and look what I have here. A bike, Tall Hetta, my closest dealer. Nice little 390 Adventure for test ride. Right, that's good. A lot of settings in this bike. No rally mode, but that's a, that's fine. All right. I have ridden a few kilometers with it now, right now, both on uh, paved road and uh, gravel road. There is a difference in power compared to the 790, and it's a very small and compact bike. Well, it's a nice little package. For uh, 65,000 uh, Swedish crowns, or like 6,500 euros or dollars. Very nice little package. Got traction control and uh, Curve ABS, on this specific one it's uh, 
quick shifter plus as well off-road modes street and uh, off-road ABS you got some decent 50-50 tires 17 inch rear 19 inch front this 50-50 tires are TKC 70 behaves well on the road got a single disc brake in the front and rear it's uh, 320 millimeters in front you got a decent suspension compared to what it is this bike WP Apex about 18 and 19 centimeters of uh, travel it's <laughs> definitely not as high as the 790 yet, and uh, not as long either. It's a very short, compact bike. Uh, it's uh, difficult for me, that is six foot, to, to stand on it. But uh, that could be easily modified. Of course, the bike is geared to its power. So it uh, actually accelerates. And do well on the uh, on the highway. On the pavement, it still uh, it works well on the highway. It's uh, it steams on and uh, uh, curves city wise on on the back roads. It behaves very well, comfortable. A little bit cramped and small, as I said. Uh, if you're used to the bigger 790 or even bigger bikes. Uh, at the gravel roads, it's uh, yeah, it's nimble and quick. You could possibly find some uh, 70, 30 tires for this bike as well with these dimensions. I've seen on the videos of test rider already ridden this bike very hard. This is a demo bike at my dealer, so I have to be careful as always. Three hundred and seventy cc's. It says three ninety. Very nimble engine. You have adjustable suspension. Compression and rebound. And you have some adjustability on that too, I see. Right, I have to ride some more with it. Definitely ride some more with it. And uh, then I will put it <laughs> right beside my 790 so you can see the difference in size. How they compare this bike doesn't compare of course but uh, but it's fun to see them together okay so stay tuned Okay, so I'm back at the dealer again, after a nice ride with this little mini beast, the 390 Adventure. I would say it's a perfect little city and back road commuter for anyone, perfect for that. Like uh, 3.4 liters per 100 kilometers. 160 kilos dry 
approximately 14 and a half liter gas tank hey the gsa rider disappeared hope we will enjoy the day uh, yeah but it's also a nice bike for the younger ones as recently got, got their motorbike license to uh, begin their adventure riding with it's a very competent uh, small and lightweight adventure bike i tried it at some forest road and uh, and some uh, asphalt and gravel roads it works nice even if uh, with my weight and height The wind protection is uh, pretty much the same as on the 790, same kind of noise. <laughs> uh, I felt some vibrations, but the bike is new, could be better when uh, it's run in the engine. And if you put it in the optimal uh, uh, revs and gears for, 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 to ride smooth, yeah, the bike is very smooth when you push it you feel some vibrations not so much in the handlebar but uh, that you feel in the in the footpeg okay nice little ride now we'll get into to your bike and have a chat hope you enjoy this uh, little test and uh, mini review okay see you on the next one